It's another Jubal phone tap. 107.3 KFFM. Hello? Hi, I was looking for Jody. Uh, yes, this is she. Hey, Jody, how you doing? You don't know me. My name is Mike Rimmer. I'm with Cole. How's it going? Oh, hello. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Sorry to bug you on your cell phone. Listen, I was at your presentation yesterday, and I just wanted to call and say that I thought you did a great job despite the circumstances. It was really good. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm... No, thank you. It was very informative. I, I had heard that this is one of the first presentations you were giving to the company. Yeah, it was. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still a little confused. Uh, what, uh, what were the circumstances? Oh, the whole nose thing. What nose thing? Oh, you didn't know? No, I'm sorry. What, what are you talking about? Rick didn't tell you? No, Rick didn't tell me anything. Oh, I thought, I thought you knew. You had a bat in the cave the whole time. <laughs> what are you talking about? A booger or whatever. You had a huge booger in your nose the whole time you were doing the presentation. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Well, we all thought your presentation was good. We were just distracted by the little nose goblin you had going on. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe this. I thought you knew about the little nugget in your nose and I thought I'd stop making fun and like calling it names. Okay, this isn't a good situation for me. I try and be professional. Hey, there's not hey, well. hey, 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 wait a second. There's nothing unprofessional about it. Your presentation was great. We're all humans. Sometimes, you know, you get a little hanger down. <laughs> okay, could you please stop saying that? Okay, I'm sorry. I just I want you to feel better about it. Well, it's not making me feel better when you keep just saying names to me. What, if, would it make you feel better if I showed you the video? Show me some video? Are you kidding me? Well, my boss made me take video of it in the back of the room. Your boss and Rick didn't tell me anything and no one told me anything. I'm just a big joke up there. No, it, it's not like that. Everybody in the back room was talking about it, so I pulled out my phone and I took video of it. I kind of zoomed in. I got it. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's really what pretty. Is it, with you? It's funny. It's really pretty funny. You should check it out. No, it's not funny. This is my job, and I do my job well, and that's embarrassing. How would you like that? So you probably don't want to know about YouTube then. Oh. You've got to be kidding me! You cannot be that big of a moron. You need to take that down right now. It's gotten over ten thousand hits. No! No! That doesn't help. Why would that? Well, I'm you to take it down it's, and I'm supposed to be happy It's ki- lots of views. It's kind of going viral and you could probably make some money off it. Listen, I don't want to make money off of a giant booger. Why don't you just look at the video? You can find it pretty easy. Just Google it. Type in uh, Girl Clueless About Giant Nose Cheeto. I think that's what it's titled. Oh, my God. You don't like that title? It's not about the title, okay? I don't like that you put the video up on YouTube. I don't like that you took the video. I don't wow. like that nobody told me, okay? I don't like any of it. Jeez, I called you to say good job on your presentation, and now you're just yelling at me. If you don't take it down in the next 15 seconds, I swear to God, I'm going to be sued. All right, but taking it down I don't think is going to help because there's already been a lot of copies of it made. What is wrong with you? Take all of it down, okay? That is defamation of character, and I swear to God... That comes down, or you're going to pay for it. You know, I'm getting the feeling now that you're embarrassed by the booger thing. Are you think? Yeah. Am I, am I right picking up on that? Yeah. God, how much of an idiot are you? Yes, I'm embarrassed. Okay. You think that's embarrassing? Imagine if you were a victim of a prank phone call <laughs> about a booger. Man, that would suck. What are you talking about? This is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning doing a phone tap on you. It's a joke. Your coworker Jessica set you up. No way. Yeah, she told us that you were nervous about a presentation you just did and wanted me to mess with you. Oh, my God. I hate her so much. <laughs> were you just picturing yourself up there giving your presentation with a huge booger hanging out of your nose? Oh, my God. I thought that I was forever going to be known as, like, booger girl or something. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, thanks for your time, booger girl. Oh, my God. That was crazy. <laughs> Jubal phone chaps. Catch him every weekday with Brooke and Jubal in the morning. 1073 KFFM.